In this video, we will analyze what happens if we close the loop between the observer and the state feedback. Okay, let's start uh, remembering the state feedback rule. U of k, input of the system, is driven by this simple rule, right? Okay, so we know k, you know x, we can compute u and uh, drive the system. But the problem is x. We don't have track x, uh, access to x in most of the cases. And for that reason, we decide an observer which produces x head of k. Right? Okay, so what we should do in general is instead of this, it is equal to minus k x head of k. Okay, that's easy. But the problem is, or we may have a problem or not, what happens if we close the loop in this sense? Because we design k under this assumption and it technically satisfies some of the performance criteria that we embed to the system. Okay? But we don't know if it will work if we close the loop in this sense. And this is the topic of this lecture. So let's analyze this and try to better understand the uh, story. Okay, this is the original system. G times X of K plus H times U of K. That's great. Y of K is equal to C times X of K plus d times u of k. So this is our original system. That's great. So we have x out of k. So of k plus 1, which is equal to g times x out of k plus h times u of k. That's great. Mm, okay, that's what it is minus lc or plus lc. We will see that. Okay, it's I think, yeah, it, it is great. So plus l y of k minus y hat of k is our simulated system and y hat of k is equal to what c times x hat of k plus d times u of k okay and we know that now u of k is equal to minus k x set of k okay so let's simplify the equation and try to better understand what we can do Okay, so in this sense, what happens is this. x k plus 1 is equal to g times x of k minus h times k times x hat of k. That's great. Okay, that's nice. And x of k plus 1 hat is equal to g times x hat of k minus same thing right because we have a similar equation here uh, minus h times okay is it minus yes it's minus okay that's great uh, u of k k times x set of k that's great i think plus lc okay so what i see i will show you x k minus x set of k so we did the same thing because y is equal to c times x, y is equal to c times x hat. Okay, that's great. And we, of course, we have the output equation, uh, which is equal to, let's write the output equation somewhere here because I need to make something. And y of k is equal to uh, c times x of k minus d times x hat of none. Okay, so we will do the same. Okay, let me write it here. So what is y of k? y of k is equal to c times x of k. It's y of k. c times x of k plus d times, and instead of u, we have minus k x hat. So it should be now minus, OK? And this will be equal to d times k times x hat of k. OK, that's great. So uh, it's possible that we can like find a complete state space representation by using x and x hat. Okay, but if you remember in the observer lecture, we made a trick. What we did is instead we defined a new state, which is e to the power k, which is equal to x of k minus x set of k. Maybe if we proceed with this instead of x set, it will be better for analysis purposes, and it will be you will see that. So what I do is let's subtract this equation from this, okay? In this case, we can see that e to the power k plus 1 is equal to, so g, that's great, this will cancel, 
Okay, that's great. Minus LC. Okay, that's nice. E to the power K. So we isolated error from all of the dynamics. It's like internally isolated from everything else. Okay, that's great. But of course, we need to update the original equation. X K plus 1 is equal to. That's great. So what we need to do is G X of K, right? Okay. That's this is good. This is gx of k uh, minus h times k x head of k. Okay, but instead of x out of k, we can write it like this, right? x k minus e to the power k. Is it true? No. Okay, x out of k. Okay, no, no, it's correct. It's perfectly correct. Okay, that's nice. So if I proceed with it. What I have obtained is this. It is equal to g minus h k x k. That's great. Okay, that's nice. Plus h times k e to the power k. Okay, what happens to our application, which is not very critical, but let's write it again. And y of k becomes y of k becomes equal to c minus d times k x of k plus d times k e to the power of k. Okay, so this is important for us. Okay, of course this is important and this is important. So what are state variables? So we have error and x. X is n-dimensional and error is n-dimensional and combined is two n-dimensional state space structure. So what we should do is this. Our combined state equation or state variable is this c of k is equal to x of k error of k. That's great. Okay. So if you remember uh, the previous equations, what we need to do is we need to now define a new state equation. It's equal to, okay, this part is related with the uh, x itself. What's the effect of x on x? And let's look at this. This should be g minus h k. That's great. G minus h k. What is the second block? Second block is effect of the error state variable to x. So let's look at this. It should be h k. Okay, that's nice. h times k. So what is this part? Okay, this part is effect of x on error and we know that it's isolated because error dynamics is on the effect but it, it's the error. So it's zero and this is equal to g minus l c okay so this should be h k so let's change it okay i think we are in a good position this is of course c of k and let's look at the input dynamics okay so uh, here okay if uh, x is certainly affected by the input uh, no, it's not affected by input because we don't have input. We eliminate the input. That's great. Okay, for the system because it becomes autonomous system. That's great. But we need an output equation. Okay, y of k is equal to. So let's look at the y of k. As you can see, c minus d x d k error. So I think it's easy to finalize. C minus d k and d times x. This is c k so this is a combined state space structure okay so uh, it's important if you add an observer to the system it changes the dynamics it increases the order of the states first of all so it's a third dimensional system the combined system order is six if you convert transfer function from the input we don't have input here but if we can have a reference input you will see that it becomes a six dimensional system you will have six poles at the final transfer function equation but Let's look at the eigenvalues of the system. Okay, so this is a block diagonal structure. If you know from your beginner algebra courses, if you have a block diagonal structure, and if it's an upper triangular form, what are the eigenvalues of the system? Eigenvalues of the system are the combination of union of, okay, union of, eigenvalues of, let's say uh, this, eigenvalues of g minus h, g minus, Okay, H, okay, I cannot write H. Okay, G minus H, K, 
union of, of course, uh, eigenvalues of g minus lc. Okay, so this is great. Why? Because it means that I can design my k as if I am applying a classical state feedback rule where I know all of my states. And I can design my observer because observer dynamics is obviously isolated from the uh, state dynamics, okay, or uh, state feedback dynamics. Uh, and that response, which is nice because, uh, and this is called separation rule in linear system theory, which is one of the fundamentals and uh, very nice rules. It really simplifies our design process for a linear time invariant system. Okay, so given a like problem where your goal is to design an observer and controlling the system using the observed state of the system under state feedback rule, what you should do is the same thing. Design your K using the fact that your modified system dynamics is like this. Okay, because it's now an EG hat matrix. Okay, uh, this like this. And also you can design your observer such that you only tune the eigenvalues of this matrix. And at the end, what you will find is eigenvalues of this and union of eigenvalues of this matrix is the eigenvalues of the whole state space structure, which is super nice because it really simplifies the design process. For nonlinear systems, time varying systems, and other kind of weird systems, you may not do it as easily. You need to manipulate your system, you need to design a combined structure, for example. But for linear time variant systems, it really simplifies the process because we can separate this part from this part from the perspective of eigenvalues. But the, pro the thing is that you should be careful. Combined system is still six or like two n-dimensional. It's not n-dimensional. We are just combining the eigenvalues. Your performance, for example, if you have like this, if u of k is equal to k times x of k, okay? So your performance can be slightly different or degraded from this. When the case you have direct access to all of the states of the system, because you have other dynamics which kind of slow things down. There are like delays associated with the observer, but still the design process is same. This is important because design is a hard job in many of the control systems. But for this case, if you know uh, the system matrices G, H, C, D, if you have computational power to simulate the system, then you can easily apply this combine state feedback and observe close-up structure.